Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Auto Focus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Now, here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with the reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, the subcompact sedan from Suzuki, the Swift GLX CVT, and a large SUV from Ford, the Expedition 3.5-liter Limited Max 4x4 AT. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2019 Ferrari 488 Pista and the 2019 Subaru WRX STI, plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two subcompact SUVs, the Ford EcoSport and the Honda BRV. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held all-new 2019 Suzuki Ortega launch as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Suzuki. The Swift has always been one of Suzuki's best-selling models. Now in its fourth generation, the Swift continues to prove itself and remain in its place in the Philippine auto industry. Watch this. Here we have the Suzuki Swift GLX CVT variant. The Swift GLX is powered by a 1.2-liter four-cylinder engine that produces 82 PS of power and 113 newton meters of torque. This updated engine of the Swift GLX produces less horsepower and torque than its predecessor, but it is mated to a continuously variable transmission, so that makes up for it. The suspension uses McPherson with coil spring at the front and torsion axle beam with coil spring at the rear. 
No need to worry about putting the car to stop if needed, as it is equipped with disc brakes for both the front and the rear. After the oily bits, let's go to the more exciting parts. Talking about the exteriors and the general look of the Swift GLX, it has sporty vibes which is one of the requirements for a hatchback nowadays. Some aspects look familiar since it adapts the style of the older model, but the Swift GLX is no doubt more daring. The front fascia comes with a huge hexagonal style grille that carries the headlights with LED daytime running lights and fog lights. The Swift GLX also has diamond-cut alloy wheels, which complements the sporting character of the hatchback. These details make the Swift GLX a sight to behold on the road. Let's hop inside. Inside, the seats are wrapped in black fabric, while the steering wheel is wrapped in leather. This makes the interior of the Swift GLX as sporty as its exterior. The driver's seat is adjustable, so there is no problem finding a comfortable driving position. For the crowning glory of the Swift GLX, which is the infotainment system, it comes with an 8-inch touchscreen. Navigating is smooth due to the well-calibrated interface of the touchscreen. It comes with AM-FM radio and is available through Bluetooth, AUX, and USB connectivity. Sound is enjoyable as well, thanks to the six speakers that come with the infotainment system. On the topic of safety and security, the Swift GLX doesn't come short with the needed features. It is equipped with Suzuki's standard features such as the anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, traction and stability control, parking sensors with camera, as well as hill start assist, and hill descent control, and six airbags. That was the 2018 Suzuki Swift, our first featured model on Car Review this week. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains.
immediate fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Ilustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Ilustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Ilustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, my passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Isuzu Philippines recently awarded the six winners who are among the 27 finalists who took on the 2018 Isuzu Fuel Economy Challenge. Last January, the 27 finalists were challenged to take their Isuzu Mu X RZ4E SUV and D-Max RZ4E pickup for one final fuel economy run with a preset 10km route around Isuzu's headquarters in Binyan, Laguna. These are uh, Games of Champions. Uh, we have invited all the champions of Isuzu Fuel Eco Run held at the dealer level and now they will be competing at the national level. We're very happy because we are actually promoting the Asai 4E engine that we launched recently. This is a very, very fuel-efficient engine. And not only fuel-efficient, but it contributes less emission and less harmful to the environment. These six winners, three from Isuzu Mu X RZ4E category and three from the Isuzu D-Max RZ4E category, were declared the most fuel-efficient drivers and are set to enjoy an all-expense-paid trip for two to Thailand, scheduled for April 1 to 4. 2019. At the end of this activity, the three most very efficient drivers of the, our RD4E Mu X and DMAX will get to enjoy three days trip to Thailand. We have made this Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenges as part of our advocacy in promoting fuel efficient driving, which is necessary today. Nissan Philippines has officially opened the doors of Nissan Sumulong Highway in Kainta under MGM Motors Trading Inc. The Nissan Sumulong showroom sits on a 3,869 square meter slot with nine work bays, two NES Nissan Engineering Standard, an executive checkup bay, and a showroom that can display up to nine vehicles. The opening of the dealership further strengthens the partnership between Nissan and MGM Motors, which started in 2004. We are here in uh, Nissan uh, Sumulong Highway. This is Nissan's 44th dealership and what a beautiful dealership this is. I want to uh, wish AutoHub all the very best and congratulate them uh, on this wonderful dealership that they've opened today. The new Mitsubishi Strata has finally arrived in the Philippines following its global premiere in Bangkok, Thailand late last year. Mitsubishi considers the Strata as one of its most important models. The company said the latest model version will be sold around the globe in 150 countries eventually. In the Philippines, the new Strata will be available in six variants, and all variants are fitted with six-speed transmission. We introduced the new Strata today, and the car has a new exterior design, tough and robust. And we also brought the 40 years of our engineering experience of the pickup truck to this car. The durability and the high performance of the car is now outstanding. The new Strata bears a new styling and is engineered to be more capable and reliable. It is powered by a 2.4-liter, 4-inline, 16-valve DOHC clean diesel with variable geometry turbo and MyVec, which gives out 181 PS of power and 430 newton meter of torque. The new Strada also comes with advanced safety features. The new Strada, of course, aside from the new styling, now features 18-inch wheels. Rear suspensions have been improved a lot. 
ride quality niya more supple or comfortable in tao, much like an SUV. We've added a lot of safety features to the top of the line variant. May front collision mitigation, may ultrasonic mis acceleration mitigation system, may rear cross traffic alert, may blind spot warning. So lahat ng advanced safety features meron yung top of the line Strada. To showcase the newest Strada, Mitsubishi invited Hiroshi Masuoka, a Japanese champion rally racer, to do a demonstration run. Hiroshi Masuoka, if you don't know him, he's a two-time Paris Dakar champion back-to-back, 2002-2003. Talagang very grueling, very tough yung race na yan. And isip mo, twice nag-champion yung tao. And we invited that guy to do a demonstration run and taxi ride for our guests. Papakita niya yung potential ng Strada and yung durability ng Strada. Kahit patalunin niya pa yan, kahit pakitin niya pa sa mga hills and mounds, kayang i-enjoy ng kotse yung mga torture test na ginagawa niya. Nissan Philippines held its annual media Thanksgiving party as it wrapped up a successful 2018. During the celebration, Nissan announced that it grew 40% from last year after selling 34,952 units in 2018, giving the company an 8.7 market share. I mean, Nissan, we grew 40% last year. Um, you know, while the industry, I think, had gone back like about 17%, it went down. So we were one of the, I think, the only brand probably that grew double digit last year. So we are very happy about the growth that we have had. But the key to that has been the work that we've been doing the last three years. I think I've mentioned a few times, you know, our focus has been on product, service, customer experience, and of course our employees. So all of those foundational work that we've been doing has been critical for our success. Nissan attributes this growth to the performance of its key products. The Nissan Navara was the main driver for the company's growth as a popular pickup truck contributed 46.2% of the sales in the Philippines. The new Nissan Terra also drove sales for the company, already contributed 11.9% of sales locally after its launch in May. So Terra, of course, uh, you know, it's in a, a very important segment for us. It's a critical uh, vehicle and the launch was extremely successful. We had the regional premiere here in Philippines, which shows the uh, importance of Philippines within the Nissan world for us. And Terra contributed uh, you know, almost 12% of our sales last year. And it's been, uh, you know, gaining good momentum from a sales perspective. Aside from this significant growth in Nissan sales, the company also celebrated a number of highlights it had in 2018. The company also looks forward to a better 2019. 2019, we are, uh, you know, from an industry perspective, I think it will grow compared to last year. Of course, from a Nissan perspective, we would like to grow more than the industry as we have done in the last three years. And that's our focus for uh, 2019. And that's what we will be aiming for. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All-new El Tiga debut. 
Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. SM Mall of Asia lights up the skies once again at the 10th Philippine International Pyro Musical Competition. This February, SM Mall of Asia together with Platinum Fireworks Inc. will house 10 competing countries who will take on a battle of breathtaking fireworks performances amidst symphony of sounds. Experience the jaw-dropping, awe-inspiring show as each country owns the Manila skies every Saturday night from February 16 to March 23, 2019. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Car enthusiasts are always on the lookout for what's new in the country's car scene. Our featured cars in this week's Head to Head are two of the latest models that have made a grand entrance in the market. But where do they differ and what's so similar about them? We'll find out as we check out the Ford EcoSport and the Honda BRV. Our first agenda check what's under the hood of the EcoSport and the BRV. The BRV is powered by a 1.5-liter iVTEC engine that produces 120 horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque. Meanwhile, the Echo Sport runs in a 1.0-liter turbocharged inline-3 EcoBoost unit that gives out 123 horsepower and 170 newton meters of torque. For the car's transmissions, the BRV comes with a 7-speed continuously variable transmission. For the Echo Sport, it comes with a 6-speed automatic transmission two different engine layouts, but both make the most out of the powertrain. When it comes to the two-car suspension setup, both of them use McPherson's strut at the front and torsion beam at the rear. This setup works for both the BRV and the Echo Sport in facing road imperfections. Let's now check out the exterior and interior of the two SUVs. The BRV bears some details from another Honda car, although it has its own characteristics that make it stand out on its own. At the front, we can see slim wraparound headlights and the maker's signature solid wing face fascia. A pair of roof rails also boosts the SUV's practicality. At the rear, it has C-shaped taillights that are connected by a reflective strip. It gives the BRV a tougher appearance, albeit in a smaller package. On the other hand, the Echo Sport likewise adopts some details that the other Ford models have. It has the same front fascia, grill and even the fog lights and the headlights. The only recognizable changes in the exterior of the newest Echo Sport are the unique A-pillars which create curves at the bottom. They are obviously positioned to highlight the striking edges of the car's hood, giving it sporty vibes. Let's have a tour inside our featured vehicles. The interior of the BRV is just like its exteriors in a sense that it screams Honda. Everything is wrapped up in leather upholstery, giving away that elegant feel to it. It comes with automatic climate control, a touchscreen and second row air conditioning. Since the BRV is a seven seater, it has a generous amount of space. The infotainment system of the BRV is equipped with Garmin powered seven inch touchscreen with navigation with Bluetooth and USB connectivity as well. Entertainment is courtesy of four speakers. Meanwhile, inside the Echo Sport, it's the same with the BRV where everything is black. From the seats to the steering wheel, everything is wrapped in leather. The Echo Sport comes with a spacious cabin as well, ensuring a comfortable trip for both driver and passengers. It has enough space for up to five people. The Echo Sport's infotainment comes with an 8.0 inch Sync 3 touchscreen integrated with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto since it's a top spec variant. Meanwhile, audio is enjoyable through seven speakers. For safety and security, both the Echo Sport and the BRV come with the needed features such as anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, stability control, among others. However, the Echo Sport is equipped with six airbags while the BRV only comes with dual airbags.
That was our head-to-head -head this week, courtesy of the Ford EcoSport and the Honda BRV. Two models that you can't say no to unless you prefer one more than the other. Whatever your choice is, we believe it's a good one. We hope you enjoyed our feature this week. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing of this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, we have the 2019 Ferrari 488 Pista. Let's watch this. The Ferrari 488 Pista, which will be unveiled at the upcoming Geneva Motor Show, is the successor to Ferrari's V8 engine special series, the 360 Challenge Stradale, the 430 Scuderia, and 458 Speciale, which have received critical acclaim for their performance and undiluted handling. The 488 Pista marks a significant step forward from the previous special series in terms of both sporty dynamics and for the level of technological carryover from racing. The name is, in fact, a direct homage to Ferrari's unparalleled heritage to motorsports. The car's development evolved directly from the company's involvement in the FIA World Endurance Championship, in which it has won five manufacturer's titles in the GTE class in the six years since the series' its inception. In its 25-year experience in running the Ferrari Challenge One Make Series, the Ferrari 488 Pista's extensive weight-saving solutions, along with engine, vehicle dynamics, and aerodynamic developments, all derive from Ferrari's racing cars the 488 GTE and the 488 Challenge. The result is a car with an uncompromising mission to offer impeccable track-like performance on and off the road, even when in the hands of non-professional drivers. The new model weighs an impressive 90 kilos less than the 488 GTB. This fact, combined with the largest ever increase in engine power for a special series car, sets a new benchmark for Ferrari's V8 sports cars. Its engine is the most powerful V8 in Ferrari history and is an extreme evolution of the turbo unit that won the overall International Engine of the Year award in both 2016 and 2017. It punches out 720 CV with the highest specific output of in its class and is now lighter too. Thanks to solutions adopted from the 488 Challenge, as a result it has a top speed of 340 km per hour and sprints from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.85 seconds and 0 to 200 km per hour in 7.6 seconds. The engine sound is unique and unmistakably Ferrari, as such a special car warrants, but the sound quality and the intensity are higher than the 488 GTB in all gears and at all engine speeds in proportion with the progressive increase in power. above your limits.
Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Philippines has officially unveiled the all-new Suzuki Ortiga in a grand launching event held at the Marriott Grand Ballroom in Pasay City. The 600 motoring media, dealers, bank partners, and club Ortiga representatives were the first lucky ones to lay eyes on the new Ortiga. Suzuki Philippines presented the all-new Suzuki Ortiga with a fiercer look. The upgraded 7-seater MPV features a taller nose and a wide and elegant front grille. The lower roof side extends the headroof while providing a more stylish side view. The integrated lower grille and fog lamps add a sense of stability and make the car look edgy. Deeper curves on the side and shoulder and character lines were added to reflect robustness and a stronger presence. The all-new Ortiga also has a new powertrain. However, for its transmission, it retains the 4-speed automatic transmission. The all new Suzuki Ortega is 1.5 liter. The old one is 1.4 liter. This new Ortega has bigger in terms of dimension. It's longer, it's wider, but it's lighter. So therefore, this particular model, I would say, is, is more fuel efficient, more comfortable in terms of features. It's more advanced. And uh, we are really confident that this model would really give us uh, more volume in the market. This bold design of the all-new Ortiga continues on to its interior. The new steering wheel has a flat bottom for better leg clearance, while the gauges are painted with metallic chrome for a sleeker look. The seats have a deep curb with the fabric showing a 3D effect. Moreover, the all-new Ortiga comes equipped with Suzuki's new generation platform, the Hardtech, which effectively disperses impact energy to improve safety while reducing noise and vibration. Another feature that highlights the all-new Ortiga's capabilities is total effective control technology, which scatters collision energy across the vehicle frame to mitigate damage to the car and passengers. Actually, we have a lot of features compared to the others, uh, starting from the uh, stylish design, and uh, we made it longer and wider compared with the previous generation model, and it makes more comfortable. And also, we install new type of engine, and uh, more powerful, but more very efficient. And also, uh, the price of the car is very much competitive among the other competitors.
Suzuki reported that there has been a significant increase in their sales during the past year despite the challenges. Suzuki said the success is attributed to the Ortiga, the Celerio, and the Vitara. Suzuki Philippines uh, remains competitive this year. You're right, 2018 was a really successful year for Suzuki Philippines. Despite of the challenges that the industry faced, the company was able to register a positive growth. As you know, the automobile industry last year shrunk by uh, 15%, but Suzuki Philippines was able to register a respectable growth of 2.5%. Uh, the top three selling models of the company are the Ortiga, the Celerio, and Vitara, which account a total of 56% of our total sales. And the Ortiga, or the old Ortiga, contributed around 30% of our total sales. This uh, product is very important for our sales. The contribution is more than 30% of our total sales. So it is very important model and we have to sell more and more. For 2019, Suzuki plans to expand their dealership network, especially outside Metro Manila. In addition, the company plans to strengthen their marketing initiatives across the country. Suzuki is planning to expand more dealer network. Last year, we were able to open nine dealership network, and part of our plan for this year is to focus on opening more dealer network outside Metro Manila. Aside from that, we plan to be more aggressive in our marketing activities, well, in different areas of uh, the country, for us to somehow surpass what we have achieved uh, last year. And we are confident that with these programs, we could surpass the uh, performance that we have in 2018. Suzuki invites everyone to check out the all-new Ortiga in their dealerships nationwide. My name is Satoshi Kasehara, uh, the chief engineer of the all-new Ortiga. So the all-new Ortiga uh, is more stylish and more elegant, also more spacious. So I am confident the all-new Ortiga will bring you pride of ownership and uh, smile from their family. So. Uh, please come to Suzuki Leadership Nationwide. Thank you very much. Up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around the 2019 Subaru WRX STI. Let's watch this. Subaru of America Inc. recently announced the 2019 WRX SDI with improved performance and special edition series gray model. The 2019 WRX SDI will reach Subaru retailers this summer. Powered by a 2.5-liter turbocharged boxer engine, the WRX SDI increases horsepower to 310 with the help of a new air intake and high-flow performance exhaust. A retuned ECU and stronger pistons also contribute to the increased engine performance. The six-speed manual transmission features the revised third gear ratio, which helps contribute to faster acceleration. The WRX STI brings rally-bred performance technology to the road with multi-mode, driver-controlled, center differential, symmetrical, all-wheel drive. Standard handling technologies include active torque vectoring and multi-mode vehicle dynamics control. New for 2019 is the limited production of 250 WRX STI series, gray model. The series gray offers a cool gray khaki exterior, exclusive crystal black silica, badging and foldable exterior mirrors, as well as 19-inch alloy wheels with black finish. The Brembo brake calipers come in silver finish with black STI logo. The interior features black ultra suede with carbon black leather bolster and ultra suede steering wheel with red stitching. Handling for the WRX STI Series Gray is upgraded with Bilstein STI Sport Tune suspension featuring Bilstein dampers for the inverted strut front suspension and double wishbone rear suspension. The limited edition also includes Recaro seats with eight-way power driver seats and keyless access and push-button start.
designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. In this week's second car review, we have Ford's latest SUV, and it's also one of the biggest nameplates in the market, the Expedition. Let's find out how this car has set a standard for this segment. Watch this. Here we have the Ford Expedition Limited variant. Under its hood, the Expedition Limited is powered by a 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6 engine that gives out 375 horsepower and 637 newton meters of torque. These healthy numbers are mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission which allows the Expedition to provide quick response. For the suspension, the Expedition uses an independent suspension for both front and rear. The setup is pretty simple, but it does a good job in providing smooth handling without sacrificing comfort. After the oily bits, let's check out the design inside and out. When it comes to Expedition's exterior design, it looks like its aim is to command attention with its large headlights triangular fog lamps, wide grille with chrome accents, and 20-inch alloy wheels. Its all-aluminium alloy body makes the Expedition much lighter than its predecessor, despite it being the brand's largest SUV. Speaking of its body size, the Expedition Limited has a dimension of 5,636 by 2029 by 1,938 millimeters. Indeed, a huge SUV. Inside the Expedition Limited, drivers are greeted by a semi-digital display for its instrument cluster. Instead of the traditional gear selector, the Expedition uses a rotary dial to cycle through the gears. Moreover, since it has a huge body size, the Expedition is generous in space. 
it can fit up to seven passengers with 84.5 cubic feet of cargo space, even with a third row propped up. No car is complete without an infotainment system. The Expedition Limited comes with an 8-inch touchscreen in the middle with the latest sync technology. Enjoyable sound is guaranteed by a 12-speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system that is available via Bluetooth connectivity. The Expedition Limited is equipped with the standard driver assist technologies including Hill Start Assist, Hill Start Descent Control, Blind Spot Information System with trailer coverage and cross traffic alert, Forward Sensing System, Reverse Sensing System, and Traction Control. Bigger, bolder, and more spacious. That was the Ford Expedition 3.5L Limited Max 4x4 AT variant, our second featured vehicle on Car Review this week. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gambor.